the souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who followed the footsteps of Christ. And since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exalt with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, we celebrate on this 30th day of June the first matters of the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Yesterday, we began with the solemnity of St. Peter and St. Paul, their martyrdom and celebration as Prince of the Apostle and Apostle of the Gentile. We continue today with the celebration of their brothers, other brothers and sisters who were martyred murdered, killed, when persecution started in Rome about the year 64 AD. As we join in this celebration, invoking their holy names for intercession, we pray for the special intention of Lisa Newland. And we pray also for all of you and our friends, our brothers and sisters who are joining us all online from Vista and elsewhere around the world. Let us now take a moment in our hearts, acknowledge our sins, and ask God for pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all you angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who consecrated the abundant first fruits of the Roman Church by the blood of the martyrs, grant, we pray, that with firm courage we may together draw strength from so great a struggle and ever rejoice at the triumph of faithful love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let's A reading from the book of Genesis. Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. Isaac grew, and on the day of the child's weaning, Abraham held a great feast. Sarah noticed the son whom Hagar, the Egyptian slave, had borne to Abraham, playing with her son Isaac. So she demanded of Abraham, drive out that slave and her son. No son of that slave is going to share the inheritance with my son Isaac. Abraham was greatly distressed, especially on account of his son Ishmael. But God said to Abraham, do not be distressed about the boy of your slave woman. Heed the demands of Sarah, no matter what she is asking of you, for it is through Isaac that descendants shall bear your name. As for the son of the slave woman, I will make a great nation of him also, since he too is your offspring. Early the next morning, Abraham got some bread and a skin of water 
and gave it to Hagar. Then, placing the child on her back, he sent her away. As she roamed aimlessly in the wilderness of Beersheba, the water in the skin was used up. So she put the child down under a shrub and then went and sat down opposite him about a bow shot away. For she said to herself, let me not watch to see the child die. As she sat opposite Ishmael, he began to cry. God heard the boy's cry, and God's messenger called to Hagar from heaven. What is the matter, Hagar? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy's cry in his plight of his. Arise, lift up the boy, and hold him by the hand, for I will make of him a great nation. Then God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. She went and filled the skin with water, and then let the boy drink. God was with the boy as he grew up. The word of the Lord. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. And the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Fear the Lord, you holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and the hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Come, children, hear me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and which delights in prosperous days? The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Father, we will to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swine was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swine. 
and he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swine, and the whole head rushed down the steep, the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swine heads ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Thereupon, the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Often on Good Friday afternoon, it's traditional. The Holy Father takes the people along with him to the, is that the Colosseum? I can't even pronounce it well. It's Italian. Where they will observe the Holy Friday, the Good Friday stations of the cross, procession, and prayers. They will spend the entire afternoon there at the Colosseum. And their reason, among other things, include to honor the memory of the dozens of thousands of martyrs who were killed in that stadium to entertain, not just kill this. If you talk about killing somebody because uh, perhaps when death sentence was invoked, maybe someone committed a crime, a person is condemned, and the person is executed, then you can maybe perhaps say, okay, they were following the law. But then it was law that prohibited the Christian faith. A law which started with Nero, who had a dream of rebuilding the city of Rome. And rather than shift location, I know if you go to, if you go to close to downtown, which is um, in the most gentrified area around San, San Diego. You will know we have, we have downtown, we have middle town, we have uptown, and people keep moving. Maybe they started from uptown or around the country, and they kept moving up together. And the gentrification continued until you get to the place, perhaps, where they got and call downtown. Nero could have shifted location, developed a city. He didn't want to do that. He hated the Christians. And to achieve his goal, he set the city on fire and accused the Christians of doing it. That was how the persecution of our earliest brothers and sisters started in Rome about the year 64 A.D. And dozens of thousands of these men and women, great, committed in their faith, were killed. So they bring them into this stadium, and people will sit around like, you know, people who have come to watch uh, um, baseball, football. They will sit there, and then they will bring out the Christians and open the den where the lions are staying, and they will jump into the stadium and tear these people to pieces. So today, there are many of them. Some of them are not recognized by name. We have chosen as a community to celebrate them, to honor them, to honor their faith, to honor their commitment to God, and to ask for their intercession. Then it was sadness. But even as they died, they were smiling. They were happy being part of the cross of Christ. It is that commitment, brothers and sisters, that we sit here to worship, to thank God, and to ask that he will also move us 
with his grace. Yeah, we may not suffer persecution or death in the way they did, but in different ways when we stand and testify to the truth because it was actually their witness to the truth that led to their martyrdom. If you are persecuted, if you are hated for standing by the truth, if you are condemned by people and called names for being a believer in Jesus Christ, for doing that which is right, for supporting the cause that is right, that will bring about changes in our community, bringing peace and cohesion into the life of the members of our community and people like ridicule you. They had ridiculed believers before you. Do not give up faith. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. And today, as we celebrate, these are brothers and sisters. We come to God in prayer. We bring ourselves, we bring our thanksgiving. We bring those who have asked for our prayers. And we ask God, as we honor these, our brothers and sisters, may their intercession continue to bring about interventions in our lives, bringing consolation to families that have lost a dear one, bringing eternal rest to our beloved dead brothers and sisters, bringing strength of character to us who listen every day to this word of God so that our lives will continue to reflect what this gospel stands for, the message of Jesus, which tells us that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And whoever stands by the truth will enjoy true freedom, so that we will enjoy this freedom by standing by that which is the truth, and that the life of these our brothers and sisters will remain a strength to us and carry us through our endeavors until we get to that same goal where they have arrived. Please stand. Let us present our needs and the needs of the world to our merciful Father. For the church, may God continue to bless her ministry, teaching, and saving works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who govern, may the Spirit guide them with wisdom and truthfulness in their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer despair, May God's powerful hand be upon them to console and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here in this faith community, may God deepen our awareness of his presence in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially those who have t especially those who have no one to pray for them may god lead them to eternal life with him in heaven let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer and for today's special intention for the special intention of lisa newland let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for Father Chima, as today is his last day at St. Francis, and we send our blessing and our love goes always with him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for that special intention we have deep in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless your people, Lord, with your love and your presence. Bring us every day 
to see your hand at work in our lives so that whatever we pass through, as we witness to the truth, we may bear for the glory of your holy name and continued blessings to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer. The earth has given and human hands have made, that it may become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, that it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, and Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to attain our life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. May we share the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, the bread of life, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, in the world, we are the children Body and blood of Christ, bring us to life everlasting.
It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy matters have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bend their head a little bit for God's blessing. May the Lord be with you and bless you. Amen. May his face shine upon you and bring you graciousness. Amen. Amen. May he protect you and grant you good health in body and in spirit. And after your toil and the travails of life, may he grant you happiness in the joy of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. This Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God bless you.